Going to bring up your next performer. Please give it up for John Massey, everybody. All right. Thank you guys so much. You've been a great crowd. Thank you for coming. I'm totally kidding. You better sell it down. <laughs> so, you know, I was thinking about wearing a bunny t-shirt tonight, but I decided to just go with a regular t-shirt from the new line of obvious apparel. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, even though it's true. It's just my email, handsome at johnfunny.com. I know, as soon as the show is over, all the ladies are going to be coming up to me, asking me for my phone number, my autograph, my email, my home address, so I figured I'd discover that right off the bat. Handsome at johnfunny.com. <laughs> All right, now by round of applause, how many of you guys have gym memberships? Woo! Some of you guys go for that? Okay. Now by round of applause, how many of you actually use the gym more than once in life? Now by round of applause, how many of you don't like clapping? I feel like a comedy business called Irony. The guy back there was like, eh. So I was at the gym today, which is pretty obvious. Um, and I see this black guy coming out of the, the shower when I'm changing. And not like I was looking or anything, but um, not at all, I swear. But I guess the stereotype what they say about black guys is true. I just caught a glimpse out of the corner of my eye, but yeah, he was stealing my wallet. <laughs> stereotype is true. Stereotype is true. Of course, I'm kidding, this Connecticut. We're in Hartford, white people are minorities, so you can't be racist, right? I love how every white person who proved they're not racist always says the same thing. Oh, I have a lot of black friends. <laughs> what that usually means is I grew up watching the Cosby Show. <laughs> and I still have my close with Rudy Huxtable, my BFF. But in my case, it's actually true. I played football at a pretty diverse high school and keep touch with my friends with all races. Heck yeah. But yeah, my high school pretty much black and Puerto Rican. That was all the races at my high school. Um, so, <laughs> I love joking around with my black friends because if you think about it, black people get all the holidays, right? Black History Month, Martin Luther King Day, Black Friday. <laughs> but I did grow up here in, uh, in New England and um, just moved back from San Diego. The 75 degree winters, the beautiful women, the palm trees, the amazing beaches. I mean, what a dump, right? <laughs> so of course, as soon as I get back here, I have to find a place to live. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get an apartment or just buy a small house. And I'd been uh, saving up the past few years and working on my credit. But I guess to get a house these days and get a mortgage, you have to have a credit score of at least 10,000. <laughs> so I figured I'd just, just rent a place, and that was the way I would have to go. Um, and ended up finding a pretty decent place in a nice neighborhood. The only thing is I had to go into some roommates. They're pretty chill, but they get on my case for the little things, like leaving the fridge open or putting the cat in the microwave. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm totally kidding. I don't leave the fridge open. Um, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with me, but anytime I'm home, my roommates always seem to be out with friends or parties. It's nothing to do with me, I'm sure it's just a weird coincidence. But my roommates are pretty cool, they're a little bit older, and some of you can actually know them because they're my parents. <laughs> So I'm an adult living with my parents. The rent is pretty good, but if I come home past curfew, I'm grounded. <laughs> 33 years old, living with mom and dad. Ladies, the line to get my number starts at the door. <laughs> but if you want to hang out, I have to get permission from my mom first. So, yeah. If you call in the house and she picks it up, just hang up the phone. Like, you may have to page me later, too. Like, oh, good crowd, good crowd. But it's good to be back with my uh, with my family, and of course, all my amazing friends. Huh? <laughs> um, no, it's good to be back with friends, and of course, my amazing family. And uh, some good news on the family front: I just became an uncle. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love when people can come and congratulate me for becoming an uncle. All my hard work, schooling, and dedication that it took to become an uncle is pretty intense. You know, great example. They came up with the cure for polio. Yet every time I say that, no one comes and congratulates me, even though I had the same responsibility for them both. <laughs> but it's great that my brother's married, and I'm sure I'll get married in like 25 years. Um, and him and his wife are so happy to be married. They're so happy. Um, and I love his wife like a sister-in-law, and I'm not sure if it's just me. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just me, um, or is marriage totally a cult, right? As soon as one of your family and friends get 
gets married, what do they want you to do? They want you to be married too, right? Hey, I got this girl who's perfect for you. Leave me alone. I'm okay. I enjoy the single life. No, but she's perfect for you. You're hilarious, and she loves to laugh. Really? I've never met a girl who likes to laugh in my life. <laughs> Most people hate laughing. No way will anyone ever come to a comedy club. <laughs> but seriously, I can't be in a relationship. Commitment? I can't even commit to the second season of Breaking Bad on Netflix. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad I go to other people's weddings and get cold feet. <laughs> but seriously, I can't be in a relationship. My roommates won't allow it. <laughs> but I was dating this one girl who was actually pretty crazy, but she did like to drink. And a lot of people told me, you know, drinking makes women crazy. And I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but it's not the drinking that makes women crazy. It's the oxygen. Oxygen <laughs> makes women crazy. <laughs> don't worry, don't get offended. Not all women are crazy, just the ones who can breathe. <laughs> but I was dating this one girl who was actually pretty nuts, but she did like to drink. <laughs> Have you guys heard this before? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so I dating this girl, she was white actually. Um, she did like to drink and people, people told me, you know, drinking makes women crazy. You guys have heard this before, it's just okay. Brain injury, sorry. Um, so I started seeing this girl recently, though, since that didn't work out, of course, um, and she's absolutely gorgeous. She has a Spanish father and an Arab mother, so she's sparing. <laughs> <laughs> but things didn't work out because she had too much oxygen, and she was crazy, too. And it didn't work because she was one of those dieters. Um, and it was good that she was eating healthy and dieting, but I'd go over to her house, and she'd be eating ice cream. But it was a cheat day. I'd be there two days later, and she's eating chocolate cake and cookies. But it's a cheat day. <laughs> now, it's good if you're healthy and, you know, eating good and exercising, but if you have a cheat day more than six days a week, that's not a diet. <laughs> I just call it chasing diabetes. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You guys having a good time tonight? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that chick was pretty crazy. Um, but the only thing worse than the non-diet diet that she was on was that she didn't even have a cell phone. It was crazy just trying to get a hold of her without a cell phone. I was leaving messages for her on her answer machine. You guys remember those things? Answer machines. Hashtag TBT. <laughs> I remember when we got our first answer machine. I was like eight years old, since, so since me and my brother were two little white kids from Connecticut, we decided to be gangster rabbits on the message. I'll never forget it. Yo, we're not home, or we can't come to the phone, so leave your message at the tone. <laughs> Everyone thought it was so cute. <laughs> Until my brother got shot. <laughs> Alright, you guys have been a great crowd. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dan Pellet is up next. Dan Pellet.